it is your boy RJ coming at you with another gameplay commentary, whatever you want to call it. Back on the PS3, back on Black Ops 2, back on Nuketown 2025, back to sniping. We're all coming back to the good old days, man. And I really, really never realized how bad the COD community, especially Black Ops 2 itself, is it's just horrible. Like everybody on nine not everybody, ninety percent of the people on this game are complete assholes and I really didn't realize that and I probably consider myself an asshole in the community too on Black Ops 2 but I really didn't realize how bad it was until I took a break from playing this completely like I've been playing nothing but PS4, GTA, Destiny, um, Minecraft, all that stuff on the PS4 so I really never realized how bad it was because like going over to the PS4 don't get me wrong, there's still some dickheads in there, but mostly everybody's in party chat, so you don't really have to deal with any of the bullshit unless your friends are screwing around with you, which usually that's me screwing around with my friends, but they all love me still. But anyways, getting off topic, people here on Black Ops 2, man, are just complete dickheads. It's like, you'll jump into a lobby and try to start a friendly conversation, or if you jump into a lobby, there's already people arguing, and it's like... Really? Like, what are you arguing about? Like, really? You're arguing about your KD. You're arguing about who's better. Go settle in in a 1v1. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that. Don't sit there and argue back and forth. You back out. Invite me. You back out. Just back out. Invite the person, whoever's talking smack, you're talking smack to. If they don't join, just move on. Drop it. You know what I'm saying? It's like people really don't get the concept of that. And at, at least here, every, in, in my situation, everybody's just complete dickheads in this game. And I just cannot wrap my head around why you'd ever want to be like that. Like, come on, we're all playing a game to have fun, you know what I'm saying? But I really don't know what else to say about that, but it's just like, it's really been getting to me lately. So, since I've been back on PlayStation 3, playing Black Ops 2, try, trying to get back into the COD scene because, you know, beautiful, beautiful Black Ops 3 was just announced not too long ago. Uh, I hope you guys are excited because I'm ec ecstatic. Treyarch's my favorite game developer, <laughs> game developer for Call of Duty, and Black Ops 2 is probably and is the best Call of Duty in my opinion. But I, I don't know. I just I, I want to get back into it. I'm watching T Martin, Ali A, all these bigger YouTubes, all the people that I actually watch on a daily basis come back to this game, and it's just like I want to go back and play it now. This game is always treating me good. It's where my channel started off, and mainly. This is mainly what my channel's about. I uploaded that Battlefield Hardline gameplay, and it's just like... I I, I have a decent amount of views. I think it's at like uh, 60 views now, but it's like, if that was a COD video, I'd probably already have over 100 views. And I, I really don't care, honestly. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like, it to, I like the videos to do good. But it's like, when I do upload a COD video, it just does so much better. And I guess that's just because Black Ops 2 is where my channel is, is what my channel is all about. It's... 90% of the videos are about COD, so mainly this game, Black Ops 2, so I mean this game treated me and my channel so, so well, and I'm hoping Black Ops 3 is going to do the same, pick up where this game left off, because you know Ghost was a shitty ass game. Honestly, I really like, I like Ghost, but it was just so slow. I couldn't get over how slow it was. Other than that, it was a good game. Advanced Warfare, I love it. I, I just can't get over the fucking exos. And let me say this, if Black Ops 3 has exos, I'm gonna be pissed. Not even if, like, everybody's talking about, or rumor has it now, that, ooh, that no-scope too. Rumor has it that Black Ops 3 is gonna have exos, but not the double jump. You can still straight forward, left, right, backwards, roll on all that stuff. Even if it has that, I'm gonna be still pretty pissed, because... Vondi, don't put that in there. Vondar, do not put that in there. I know you're not going to watch this video, but there's a lot of people. Please, like, I know there's no turning back now, but if you put it in there, the game's going to be trash. But, I don't know, Black Ops 3 is looking great. All that futuristic stuff. I'm leaning toward the side that I've heard from a couple YouTubers. You probably heard it too. About futuristic stuff, and I don't know if you guys have seen any of Snapchats or anything, but it's... it's I think it's going to be them trying to do advanced, it's kind of like advanced warfare, like it advanced uh, new technology stuff, but not in the sense of how advanced warfare was. I think they're going to be trying to implant stuff into the human body and make the people like superhuman and stuff like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Just go look on YouTube. There's videos all over about it, but that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed me coming back to Black Ops 2. Probably going to be uploading a little bit more Black Ops 2. I hope you guys don't 
mind that. Maybe some GTA. I know of some money glitches I could upload. Let me know if you guys want to see them. But anyways, guys, this is your boy RJ signing out. Peace. As you guys can see right now, we have one gold battle pack, two silver battle packs, and seven bronze battle packs. But if you look down there at the bottom right hand corner, I have two million five hundred eight thousand seventy two dollars. That is way too much money for me to be having. And I have been dreading to do this video because I really don't want to spend this money, but I'm going to go ahead and buy 50 gold battle packs, which will take away all of my money except for $8,072.